up you guys it's your girl k and i'm back with another video for you guys by the title of the video you guys already know what's going on today i'm gonna be giving you guys some self-motivation tips but before we even get into the video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to my channel and make sure you cut on the notification bell as well to be notified when i drop the videos let's get straight into the video today my content is going to be a little bit different i'm going to be giving you guys some self-motivation tips i haven't gave you guys some tips in a while i'll actually link my other motivation video um right here oh it'll also be in my description below and you guys can go watch that get a little motivation i just wrote down a bunch of tips in my journal Make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to my channel step number one to self-motivation is you need to remove people out of your life who is just not adding on to you or just simply doesn't motivate you that'll slow you down as well as remove doubters out of your life anybody who's doubted you or anything that you're working on who's doubted your craft who has doubted your brand who has doubted you as a person you need to remove that person out of your life that's key and i know us you know people as a collective you know we like to keep people around you know give people another chance but at the end of the day how many chances can you continue to give a person who obviously showed you multiple times on multiple occasions that they don't care about your feelings, your well-being, and just your life in general? Anybody who truly cares about you is going to add to you, is going to uplift you day to day, not even every day, but people who show you that they're there for you, believe it. People who show you that first time that they're not really interested in being there for you or you have to keep beating down their phones or wondering if you should be on your journey then any type of hesitation any type of question you have to do for with a person that's just the automatic red flag right there like just cut them off do what's best for you at the end of the day no matter what nobody say do what's best for next you. on my list and this is this is something i got this quote from somebody um, on Instagram, she stated that you can be in my world, but you cannot be on my journey. Most people, they don't want to cut ties with people, you know, but me speaking for myself, I don't mind cutting ties with people. Something as far as doing it for myself, like if as far as my well-being, if I feel like I have to cut you off, then that's just what it has to be. At the end of the day, you got to do what's best for you. Next on the list is deactivate self-doubt and enable intention setting. Basically, that's just saying take away the self-doubt in your life. Stop self-doubting yourself. The more you self-doubt yourself, the more things will not happen in your life because you're not believing in yourself. You have no type of faith in yourself. And when you don't have faith in yourself or in your work or in your craft or in your brand, that's when things start to go left. You have to believe in yourself. But for other people who believe in you, you have to believe in yourself. That's always key. And definitely enable intention setting in your life. That's another key as well. You know, speak intention over your life. Speak things over your life. Speak what you want into your life and you'll have it, you know. Don't speak negativity into your life. Stop saying I can't or I don't have, you know. Speak more intent over your life and you'll see a greater change. Trust me, you'll see a greater change for sure. Next on the list is start affirmation setting. And this right here is definitely important. Um, I have multiple journals. I have 10 journals. Um, each of my journals are dedicated to something totally different. And I've been journaling since I was a kid. So journaling is a part of my life. I love journaling. That's just like another form of expressing myself or expressing yourself. And I know there's a lot of people out here who journals and then the other half that doesn't journal. You know, some people think that journaling doesn't help, but in actual reality, it does, especially if you're the type of person who does not like to verbally speak your feelings. You can write them down, show the person, or you can just write them down for you, for the sake of you. That's like a release for you. You know, even if you don't want to talk to someone or you may have an issue with someone, write down those feelings, express those feelings, and you'll feel lighter. 
lighter. I promise you feel lighter. Next on the list is start writing down your goals, whether that's daily, monthly, or yearly. I like to do this monthly goals as well as I do jot down what I have to do f as far as the day. Envision the life that you want. Envision the things that you want. Envision everything that you want to complete in your life. That's also a great concept as well as far as self-motivation. You know, wake up, have a routine. When you build a routine, it'll make you feel good. You know, we all don't want to get up early in the morning, but it does help a lot. You know, you get a lot done earlier in the day if you get up early. Every day at 8 o'clock. And for you guys that follow me on Instagram, I'll drop it right here on the screen as well as it'll be in my description below. Every day, every morning I wake up, the first thing I do is pray. And then after that, I will post my daily affirmation or daily motivation for my followers. And, I, and it's not just for my followers, it's for myself as well. Anything I may post maybe something that I need to hear right now as well. I jot down on my whiteboard daily things that I have to do or I may even write it in my planner, check things off daily. Building a routine and it instills structure in, in you, you know? It, it gives you some form of discipline. Gratitude for where you are now and for what you may have now. Majority of us overlook the things that we have now where we are in life at this very standard moment we've all prayed for where we are we've all been wanting to be where we are and it's very important to express gratitude for you know everything that you have right now if you don't show any type of appreciation for what you have now how can you move on in the next phase of your life or have something bigger have something better how do you know that you're going to be able to handle that bigger and better if you don't express gratitude for everything that you've had now i understand you know speaking for myself i know that where i am right now and that's mentally physically emotionally i prayed for this i've always been praying to be where i am right now i am expressing my gratitude not just to myself but to god as well i'm expressing my gratitude for everything that i have now and i know that everything else in the future will be bigger because of how i'm expressing myself as of now so that is key definitely Appreciate everything that you have now because there's other people in this world who don't have a dime to their name, who doesn't have what you have at this very standing moment. So you have that upper hand right now. You just don't think you do because what you want is something bigger than what you have. You know, whatever your craft is, use that to express yourself. Every day I use my platform to express myself and express positivity amongst others you know it's always good and you'll feel better the more you start to express yourself as y'all so here on my whiteboard along the left side are my monthly affirmations that i write down on the first of each month or the day before the first of each month at the top is just the date and here are just some things that I have listed today that I need to complete or just things that I need to complete in general. And I need to create a new intro, research and write new business ideas, bag up teas, and my grandmother's gift. Here's something that I jotted down for a post that I needed to, um, like a caption for a post that I need to post today. And then here's just my grandmother and these little um, magnets as well. It comes with for organizing um things for your markers and then here is a little organizer for my keys so yeah it's very convenient organized as well so yeah you guys i actually got mine from walmart i'm not sure how much i paid for that whiteboard i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe as well as cut on that notification bell to be notified when i upload new videos Bye guys. Bye.